What's up, everybody? Today I'm going to be going over the top five best breeds of chickens that you might like on your farm or homestead. So let's get into it, everybody. Kicking off the list at number five, we have the black copper marin chickens. These chickens are definitely the most expensive ones on this list. These chickens are extremely expensive and usually cost anywhere from 14 to in some cases $30. It's a lot of money, but it's worth it in the end because they're nowhere near as costly as a true Americana chicken is. Seriously, those things can go for as much as $70. These things lay these chickens lay around 245 eggs a year and also are known for re relative docile relative docile behavior, as well as really calm and gentle moods. The roosters, I used to have problems with them, but it takes a little bit of training and practice. And well, once you get used to how the rooster's behaving, oh, will you guys have a good time? Because well, black upper marin roosters, they're defensive, but they're also fun to have. Yeah, you really wanna have them around because they're really good at defending, and they're really good roosters too. So if you want that rooster that's a really good rooster, I'd highly recommend this breed. The roosters go for about $8, so get them before they're really expensive again. You know, because it's 2022, prices are high. <clears throat> but not as high as, well, they could be in the future. So get them right now. Also, these chickens, I'm, before I go on to the next one, I would highly recommend that you're constantly hanging out with the roosters because doing so will help build the trust between you two and help stop, you know, major conflict. Continuing to move up the list, we go to the lion dot chicken. These chickens are constantly brought up in my videos, and well, we only have three of them, so well, we have to make the most of it. So, these chickens are decorative, and well, they're actually pretty good with egg production. So, the first thing I have to offer about this chicken is, well, the eggs that you get from these chickens. These chickens produce usually on average I'll say probably around, uh, we can do 140 to 260 eggs every single year. Yeah, that's a good amount of eggs. However, these chickens have been known to, you know, cause some problems. I don't know about the roosters, because, well, I've never had to deal with one. But these chickens are little troublemaking at first. However, once they get an established pecking order ready, the problems are usually solved quicker than you might think. These chickens are usually a little bit higher in the pecking order than you might think. However, once you get used to how the pecking order works and operates, then these chickens being higher will become the norm. These chickens produce plenty of eggs and well are generally a good addition because they're genuinely docile and have genuinely positive behavior around humans. So if you really want a good breed for chickens, I'd highly recommend this one. Going down to number three, continuing to count down this list, we head right on over to the Americana chicken. The only reason these weren't placed higher is because it is easy to confuse them with true Americanas, and true Americanas are a huge amount of money. So you could easily just confuse it with a true Americana and easily just end up wasting a whole lot of money. And oh, will that be it? punishing? But these chickens gen generally range from about six to eight dollars. They're genuinely curious chickens. And well, the only problem I have with them is well, occasionally I might lose one because well, they'll go out and you know, be adventurous. You know, they wanna be, but the good thing about these chickens is they lay plenty of eggs and they're really nice colored too. Like, you know, like if you want a really good egg, like sprinkles, you know, abro, burnt chicken tender, chicken burger, these chickens right here 
are definitely the Easter eggers of this flock. But, well, if you want really nice colored eggs, then, well, you really want these chickens in your flock because all will they be producing the colorful eggs you want in your egg basket. And, well, they are really good chickens. So, they're really calm. They're easy to tame. The roosters are really nice. I've, I've never been attacked by one. I've been attacked by my fair share of roosters, but I've never been attacked by an Easter egg or rooster. So, my best tip for, you know, Easter eggers is definitely to, well, get, you know, friendly around them, you know, get, like, good, good with them, in a way, and also just be friendly, too. We are in the final stretch, but these are the top two, so we are going down to the Bard Rock chickens. The only reason these aren't number one is because, well, sometimes they're a little, you know, aggressive. The roosters give me heavy Dominique vibes, and if I remember correctly, Dominiques have been known to attack humans, and, well, they're a little aggressive, but they're not Dominiques, okay? So Bard Rocks, the only reason they're not placed higher is because they give heavy Dominique vibes, also known as the Plymouth Rock chicken, because apparently they're from Plymouth Rock, which is in Massachusetts, United States of America. So, they're generally good chickens. They lay a pretty decent amount of eggs. That's what makes them so good. They're really friendly, they're easy to tame, and they're also really decently high in the pecking order. Because, well, the higher chickens really tend to be, you know, more friendlier to humans, and I don't know why, but it's just a thing that's with most chickens in your chicken flock, probably. The only thing I recommend with these chickens is, well, you know, they give you too much heavy Dominique vibes, just don't get them. Pro tip, be friendly. That's literally like the pro tip you want to be around every chicken. But I'm gonna repeat myself, oh well. Number one, the Buff Orpington. You've made it so far, congratulations. So, the Buff Orpington chicken, also known as the Golden Retriever chicken, because, well, if you've owned Golden Retrievers, you probably remember how nice they were. If you own one right now, it's probably a good Golden Retriever. I've owned Golden Retrievers in the past. And, well, they're really nice dogs. They're, they're really friendly around me, and, well, they're easy to tame. Well, the same goes for the Buff Orpington chicken. So literally, it's just, it's literally just the, literally just the golden retriever, but chicken version. Literally, that's what it is. It's just another golden retriever ripoff. You know, golden retrievers are nice dogs, but so are the buff Warpington chickens. They're buff, which is a really darker shade of yellow. Google says they produce 190 eggs a year. That's cap. Stop so, the cap! <laughs> 50 eggs a year. You know, Google actually tells you a bunch of cap, but the actual amount is about 250 eggs a year because, well, they're actually pretty decent and active layers. The only problem I have with them is the fact that they're so hard to tell apart. Pro tip with these chickens, you know, my pro tip for this is to, well, you know, just be yourself around them and, well, don't do anything bad around them and they'll trust you. These chickens are definitely, if you want a good chicken to build your bond with, you definitely want these chickens. Those chickens are probably really easy to bond with. You're probably gonna build a relationship with that chicken in literally just a few weeks. It literally took me four days, which is my best speed run, to build a relationship with my Buff Orpington Loudmouth seven days for lovey and 11 days for cute so i hope you enjoyed this video i just have an announcement to make hello there viewer if you actually made it this far congratulations so just a quick announcement starting today and going until may 15th i am doing a really special event where what i'm doing is well for every subscriber i get i will feed the chickens a little bit of worms, you know? So that means if I get eight subscribers from today, I'll give them eight tiny handfuls. 
which is usually about four handfuls. It's about half a handful. So, if you really want to see my chickens get happy, I'd recommend you like and subscribe and turn on notifications. Because on May 15th, I'll show you the results. Because this is going to be a hard project, and I'd highly recommend you subscribe for it. So, I'll see you next video, y'all. And, well, I hope you have a good day. This is actually a brand new couch, believe it or not. You know, I actually get new things here. Believe it or not.